Hi there, welcome back to my episode, another episode, another episode for moms, moms to be, friends to moms, just everything mom. Today we're going to talk about the last trimester. It's the most exciting yet, the most nerve-wracking trimester. Uh, basically, the last trimester are the last three months of your pregnancy. I think somewhere between week 36 to week 40. It's usually uh, the funnest if I may say it you're you're at your biggest and you know the closer you get the more excited you are it's finally you know reality is checking in and you're excited to be a mom it's your first time as a mom obviously so you really don't know what to expect I just remember I was constantly tired and I used to tell my husband I can't wait for this baby to get here like I would rather have a crying baby than being this tired you're constantly tired but good thing it's not the kind of tired that you are during your first trimester this kind of tired is more physical you're carrying a whole watermelon or just somewhere about the size of a watermelon to finally when it's a huge watermelon you're constantly there's so much pressure down there so you're constantly peeing you're tired i remember i just wanted to be in bed you you want to be in bed and yet when you're in bed you can't sleep it's it's very exhausting so exhausting i was done at some point i was done i i told my husband that's it we are packing our bags we are scheduling and you're having this baby out and that's how we had our baby scheduled at 30 about 38 39 weeks uh so we're going to talk about a few tips tricks things you need to do during your last trimester so first things first, you need to be as comfortable as you can, especially at night. Uh, I had a million and one pillows and let me tell you, one minute you're comfortable with all your pillows around you and the next minute you don't want anything around you. So it's a constant battle between, you know, being comfortable like this and then like that and it's just not working. So you need as many pillows as you can so that if it works for you, then that's good for you. You need a maternity pillow. It's the long, cuddly pillow that you, you know, you sleep in when you're pregnant in your last trimester or from all the way from the first trimester because it's comfortable and cuddly and it prevents people around you. And you need a very comfortable clothing because you're heavy, you're huge, you don't want tight things. You also want to be comfortable in your body. Uh, Deeras are very comfortable. They don't look so good. But they're comfortable i remember for me what worked i had this long vest maxi dresses they're very comfortable and they look good as well and you're walking in the mall and you're comfortable with what you're wearing uh, you know you don't want to wear again things that are tight or things that are too baggy because the baggier they are the bigger you look uh, you don't wear things that are too tight because then you just look tacky for me the vest maxi dresses worked so hard worked perfectly well for me i had them in every color um you can get them in the local uh, shops in nairobi i think they're about a thousand bob and then you also need to obviously remember to take your prenatal vitamins because uh, at this last stage it's very crucial that you you know you're healthy you're strong you have all the vitamins you need your baby's getting all the vitamins you need you know sometimes you could be you know leaning towards one kind of a food and you're missing out on the other you need your calcium because you know your body is utilizing everything that it has so you're short on just about everything you need to be taking your calciums you need to you can talk to your doctor about the type to take i won't talk about the type i was taking because again i don't want to be the reason why you're you know doing things and prescribing things to yourself and then you need to be also, you need to have, by then, by your third trimester, you really need to know what hospital you're going to have your baby. You need to, you don't need to, but it's good to have a, you know, a hospital tour so you can, you know exactly where you're going to be. I remember for me, for Nairobi Hospital, it's pretty, you know, straightforward. I knew where the labor ward was. I knew where the delivery room was. I knew where I was going to be in my private room. If you know all those things, then you're, you're mentally ready. And then you don't freak out when that day comes. And then you also need to talk to your doctor about the option of either, you know, having your birth scheduled or waiting until the last minute. Personally, I preferred the going the scheduled path, path sorry, 
because you know exactly when your baby is coming and you don't want to be panicking and you know it's last minute and your water is breaking you're in the middle of shopping you don't know what to do so we had ours uh, scheduled which worked perfectly well for me and my doctor because then he will be available at that time uh, you don't want to again have your baby here when your doctor is maybe on leave or anything can happen or maybe your doctor is in the middle of another surgery so you need to schedule with your doctor it's better to have it scheduled so that your everything is set specifically for you and your baby on that day and there are no distractions and you know you also have your peace of mind and you know you'll be fine it's your first time <sighs> you don't know what to expect i remember watching a million and one videos of all this labor and delivery stories and whatnot and none of them was like mine so again you just need to find your own path of readiness don't go you know hearing other stories and you thinking that's it's going to be for you it's always for some weird reason it's just always a completely different story uh again please uh send us your bad stories we need to hear them because we're going to talk about bad stories after this uh for preparedness we need our moms to be ready um something else about the last trimester uh after booking your hospital you need to do your shopping the basic things i think by the time your baby is here you need to have a bed ready you need to have a few items of clothing ready you need to have your shoes ready the few things that you need to have ready you don't need to have everything ready there just a few things that you know that are very urgent when the baby is here and then you will work your way you know along you need a wash a bath basin you need a tiny bed if you don't mind sharing your bed that is you need a few clothing you need comfortable shoes comfortable just comfortable things for you and your baby ready so that when that time comes you're set and you're not panicking because again you start panicking and then everything goes wrong and then you start thinking oh this is what motherhood is about it's it's just everything going wrong no but if you're ready then things tend to be easier you don't want to be the people rushing to go get a bed on the day when your baby is here you know then it's just all messy and there are a few things you can look out for during your last trimester you can decide if you're going to have a nurse uh, what kind of a nurse you want this is the best time to you know start looking around for a nurse i remember i had a nurse for two weeks after my baby was here so but luckily someone had done that for me on my behalf so i didn't have to you know go uh, nurse shopping but it's good to have your options ready if you want to have a nurse or you want to have a nanny where they'll be staying all those things uh, for you know when your baby it's just a time of preparedness it's a time to start nesting it's a time to clean and do all these things in readiness for your baby and it's very normal i remember i'd climb up a stool i'm okoju changing curtains i don't know doing what and it was it sounded crazy to some people but for some weird reason i had all this energy i just wanted everything clean and perfect and you know and the house and you can't even explain it to someone i'd be in the kitchen working doing what you know you feel like you to someone else you're overworking your body but really you're not it's just you your body's way of preparing you again uh, it's a good time to start walking and exercising so it's again a perfect time to get yourself a uh, an a exercising ball which i really wanted so bad but i never got the opportunity to so it helps you just you know it gets you into the exercise mood it's comfortable it's fun it's what so you get yourself ready for you know start walking again your body will tell you when it's time to do all these things you just feel like one day you wake up and you're like i need to go for a walk i remember i'd walk sometimes i'd go for two laps at jaffries and then after the second lap you're like okay i think that's enough and then some days i do three laps you know it's just no one really tells you what to do and i don't think anyone really should tell you what to do it's just your body one day you'll wake up and you'll go for that walk and one day you'll feel like you need to walk the whole day and that's probably the day your baby will be here so the last trimester is it's not a time to panic and freak out i remember like i'd use my app i'd go through my app and i'm like oh my god it's week 36 it's week 37 or oh, what if the baby comes tomorrow and then every time i feel like ping in the middle of the night i'm like what if this is it what if this is all your water breaks what if this is how everything goes wrong 
you know it's so scary but you need to just if you're calm everything will will go smoothly and it's not even as bad as you think it is the third trimester is not as bad as it seems i remember i would go for shopping at the mall and everyone would stop you they're like not everyone some people stop you they're like oh how far long are you oh when are you due and then i just hit you like oh my gosh am i really that big is it really that visible you know um unfortunately i don't think i have any tricks for the third trimester it's just the more ready you are mentally the more ready you'll be physically you don't want to panic and uh, there's a tendency of panicking in the last trimester i remember i talked to my friend who had just had a baby and we every time i talked to her we'll just be talking about babies and she's like oh no don't be nervous it's okay she'll be fine oh it's not as bad as it seems and i'm just thinking that's literally the only thing i talk to her about like is it painful or oh, will i die oh you know you're thinking oh what if this is it this is how i die giving birth you know it's not it's not that scary and we'll talk about childbirth we'll share some of the stories we've had from people i'll be able to share with you some of the stories i've had some of the tricks that work for people during the birth period you know her readiness for the birth period things you need to be packing for your bag and there's a lot to talk about and we'll i'll make sure i'm able to capture as much as i can in preparedness for your little one coming to you know this world thank you